Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a login page in Thunkable for beginners in 2024. So, of course, Thinkable, uh, this process will be a straightforward process that allows you to add user authentication to your mobile app. So, this story will guide you step by step how to create a functional and visually appealing login page using uh, Thinkable tools. And of course, make sure to follow along as we build a simple yet effective login page. So, make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and, as an example, open a browser. For me here, I'm using Brave for you. You can use whatever you want. So, for beginners, the best thing that you can do is simply has ChatGPT with you all the way. So open new tab, go to here, basically type chat.openai.com and hit the enter button. Once you do so, you'll find yourself in the home screen or main screen. Make sure to log into your account or if you have an account, if you don't, go and create a new one. Why? This will help you so much if you are trying, of course, uh, to get back into your chats whenever you want. Then as example, of course, you can go to their website. So as example, just type that in a new tab and basically just go to the first uh, link, which is thunkable, as you can see, dot com. After that, you will have to go and log in into an account if you have an account with them. If you don't, you'll need to go and create a new one. You can use, as you can see, Google or Apple if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging in into your account. So as example here, I'll just go and choose Google. I'll choose my account. As you can see, to create an account, Google will share your name, email address, and profile picture with Thinkable. So I'll just go and click on confirm. And of course, with ChatGPT, you can always just type, as example, how to create uh, a login page. So a login page using so Thinkable as an example and hit the enter button and you can go back here as example while the answer here as you can see what are you planning to use that for so as example i'll just do for personal use uh which describe your role better so as example i'll just do uh, i don't know i'll just do who wants to build apps uh, for new ventures example or something like that what's your experience in the app creation no experience i'm new to app creation how technical are you uh, not very technical even familiar with coding basics and etc then click on submit and as you can see i'll find myself out. so as you can see mobile made easy with thankable pro it's our most popular brand for a reason maximize your app building experience with thankable pro and access our most advanced feature to build the app of your dreams so you'll have unlimited publishing private projects priority support and access and monetization features so we can go Let's start with this. You will have to go and pay a plan. As you can see, if you click on get the pro, as you can see, it's uh, basically $44, uh, $45 per month. If you pay monthly, if you pay yearly, it's going to be less than that. For the pro, of course, you can just get the starter if you want to try it out first or just continue with the free until you uh, be good to go or until you need more features. So here, as an example, once you just created your account, you'll find yourself here. So if you go to ChatGPT back, as an example, they'll just tell us the steps. So set up your projects, as an example, starting by creating new projects. I'll just go here and click on start a new project. I'll just name it like login page as an example. Category, you can put this on whatever you want. As an example, for me, I'll just do here just testing of course you can make it public or private depending on whatever you want for me i'll make it public because private will require an upgrade for now then of course you can use this drag and drop builder if you want to if you don't you don't have to as you can see you can click on that to see what is this drag and drop like builder you can see exactly what that if you want to then go and click on create so once you do so as you can see you will find your projects right there and you will find yourself taken into it without any problems so here as you can see i have my things right away so if you go to ChatGPT back once you uh, set up your projects it's time to design the user interface add components to login screen like labels text in books buttons error label and a lot of other stuff as an example here i'll just add a label so as example uh, first a label so I'll just name it like i don't know maybe i should name it like username or something like that say so user name or something like that so of course i can add another label called uh, as an example uh, i'll just go here sorry and name it like password as simple as that and of course i'll add a button which is going to be a login button of course here i'll just name it like login 
sorry it should be like that and of course you can simply just add where people can so text input to text inputs here so type here and for the username and the second one oh sorry it should not be a label so I'll just go and delete that yeah and yeah text inputs here again and that's gonna be for the password of course i'll make it here on the middle so it's gonna be much better so yeah here of course yeah i changed like the username like wrong so here where sh i should type like user name and here where i should type like password and here basically this button will be like the login button as example now you can start changing like the colors the text a lot of stuff that you'll be able to change of course you can make it like smaller so it will be better you can even make it like uh, to go in the middle instead of this so as example i guess it's gonna be this line in the middle yeah like that here in the password as example you can do the same and login you can make like the button more bigger if you want to smaller as an example you can just make it as small as this and oh sorry and put it like as example somewhere here now make sure just to get this close and do something like that as example i'll just make this a little bit better and as you can see now we're having some good things as you can see you can start adding a lot of other stuff if you want to to or do some customization as example so here if you want so you can add a new screen for successful login configure the login add some variables example so if you set like a correct a username to admin and password to admin uh, or password one uh, two three four as example to try use those stuff of course this is basically like just going to be for design you can simply just get into data and add some data assets also as example and even settings you'll be able to change a lot of the settings so as i said once you enter your stuff in there of course you'll be able to go or or once you create your login page you'll be able basically to click on public to, uh, or to publish it of course you can even first of all preview it or test it on the phone and even on the web so if you go here as example and try like some informations here something like that click on login as example and try the things if it's working or not of course for me i still did not uh, any change so i did not change any things yet that's why when i click on login so the login will not take me to any link uh, here i have nothing here i did not encrypt like this of course i'll just go here click on back to editing and you can simply edit a lot of things about that so it should be interactive so as example okay so let me just go back to the design so as example all you need to do like first of all this login all you'll have to click on interactive and simply add where it should take you so when people click on the login page when like a uh, login is click do as an example you'll have to uh, take as example to a specific link you'll have to choose the link choose the stuff make sure the password it should be encrypted also and basically you'll be good to go once you finish all of that just click on this publish and download and you will be good to go so that's gonna be it for me today of course if you want like more specific you'll basically have just to follow this step by step by chat and you'll be good to go so that's gonna be it for me today thank you for watching and goodbye